Michael, how does coaching a team on a full game winning run differ to coaching one that's not? Doesn't. A few more smiles around the place, but the application, the work ethic, the the demand from the staff and each other is exactly the same. So nothing's going to come away from um, what we always do. I'm sure you all look to do the same, but are the players more receptive in any way? Are they are they easier to sort of motivate in any way into doing their work? Um, well, I'll be brutally honest, they had Monday off because uh, it's been a tough run of games. They had Monday off and we worked hard on Tuesday, so we've only actually been in the one day. Obviously, all the tactical work goes into the next two days preparing for the crew game. So, but Tuesday, if you're here Tuesday, the, the energy, the application, the, the, the endeavours, the group have been good the whole way through. Good, bad or indifferent. Obviously, like I said, there's a bit more laughing and joking, but once, once the whistle blows in, in the actual session, they know what's expected of them. Is there a growing belief about what they can do if they all keep working as hard as they have been as a team? I think they, the, the good thing for us is I never won a game for 10 games a year ago. So just because we've done well for the first 10 games means nothing because we finished quite strong last season after a poor start. So just because we started well, there's no, there's no thinking, oh, well, we've made it. The players know that if eight or nine of them turn up every week and we're at it and we've got a little bit of structure within it, we can compete with teams. That's, and that's... That's as far as it goes at the minute. We're, we're not looking any further than crew. Um, very, very good team. Yeah, they've got the best away record in the league. You've got the best home record in the league, so sets it up perfectly, doesn't it? Yeah, I think the way they want to play, everyone knows the way the crew want to play, but it's all right saying it and doing it and being effective because you can play backwards, sideways, backwards, sideways and then whack it from the keeper. I think, like you say, best home record, best away record. I think we've scored the most goals. I think they've scored the third most goals. So it's nailed on for a nil-nil. I think it, it should be a good game between two teams trying to play decent football, can both score. So we'll, we'll wait and see, but we, we know what we're up against. It's, it's not an accident that they're up there. Um, I think we'll, we'll have surprised a few people of, of where we're at at the minute, probably ourselves as well. But crew, I think just towards the end of last season, they fell away, but they were pushing for the playoffs for most of the season. So it's, it's not a surprise to people in the league or myself that they're in, the, in and around it again. And does their last game against Salford winning 4-1, does that just show exactly what they're capable of? Yeah, I think they, they weren't great in the first 45 minutes, but the second 45 minutes they, they put Salford to the sword. They were, they were excellent. And they can hurt you in so many different ways. You can't identify one person because, because of the rotations, because of the interchanging between different people and different positions. They're, they're, diff they're di difficult to, to get a grip of. And that's, what we have, that's the challenge for us. Because they play the style of football that they do, does that also give you a chance to play your football as well, perhaps a bit more than another team might allow you to? Um, no, because I think they'll, they'll be organising a structure. Obviously, David was a, a centre-half like myself, so he will be he will look for attention to detail. But no matter what the opposition we come up against, we have to try and pass the ball, because it is one of our strengths. So, like I said, we'll probably be coming up against a 4-3-3. I wouldn't imagine they'd come away from that. So we need to work out a way if they come and press our back three, how we work around that, if they drop off, how we work around that. So there's, there are all the different challenges of different formations that you come up against. But the key is it's, it's what we, we have to impact on them. We know what they can do and we know they're a good team, but we are at home and the impetus is on us to step on and, and, and implement our game on them. And the bravery that players have shown at home, beginning now hopefully to show it away as well because results are improving there. Rather than home and away, is it just becoming a Cheltenham Town performance now that you're looking for? Well, that's always been the case. That's what we want. It's, now, the correlation is, has been home and away, but I think even first half Saturday, I don't think we were particularly good. Um, I thought we were good for two phases of play and we, we hit the crossbar and scored. The second half, we were much better. You know, we had quite a few chances to hit them on the break. They're a good team as well, Plymouth, we know that. and They keep the ball really well. Um, and, and, and that was the belief that we, from the second half, that that was a more like a, an hour type performance. And the Salford game, again, we felt we could slight, play slightly better. But they're good that you're picking up results and you're still thinking there's more to come. Will Boyle was obviously back in the squad for that game. I mean, in terms of getting back into the starting level, it looks like he might have to wait. But in a way, I suppose, good that you don't have to rush him. Yeah, it, that's, a, that's a sign of the team doing well. Um, when Boyle got injured, where there was a, there wasn't a panic because there was of left side of centre halves. We we didn't have any, but obviously we went and got Jacob. Jacob's been fantastic, but he's still a young lad. He's still 18, 19. 
he may have a dip at some point, but at the minute, the way things stand at the minute, Boyle will have to wait. There's there's no doubt about that because Jacob's been uh, brilliant. And for the start of the season, there were changes every week, mostly in force, but you weren't able to get a settled side. Now, all of a sudden, you've been able to pick the, the same starting eleven for the last three games. Well, it does help. Um, you know, crew, uh, they've had a settled team as well. It do, it, and, and it does help with continuity, but it also helps results sometimes factor that in as well but we, we the difference being that we couldn't have picked the same team and even if we wouldn't if we, even if we'd have wanted to because of injury or suspension or something happening so I think uh, I think Rowan's going to train today Tav Campbell's missed the last three or four days here we're training today Sheafy's still not quite there Boyle coming back so it's good that it's, it's adding competition it's adding quality into the group and everyone else okay from Saturday yeah 